What's good with y'all young boys? Hey man, this is a serious ass video. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is the Soluminati vs. Aiden Beef. And I'm gonna be 100% honest. What I learned from these past few days is 99.999% of you niggas are dick riders and don't give a fuck. I'm gonna be a hundred, and I'm really talking about the Soluminati fan base. Aiden got a bunch of dick riders too. I'm not gonna lie, I'm more neutral about this situation. But the reason I'm saying Soluminati has a lot of dick riders is because they don't give a fuck how bad, like, bro, Soluminati, the way he came across shit is actually fucked up. Aiden minding his business, like, like he doesn't fuck with him, like, on some bad shit. But Soluminati attacks Aiden Ross, right? Start this controversial shit. He he makes a video calling Aiden gay, calling Aiden a, a little bitch. He's a useless fuck. That's normal soul Illuminati shit, basically. So most of his fans, right? I don't know if they're trolls. Even in Aiden's chat, even in Aiden's comment section, it's a bunch of people like siding with soul, saying like, bro, like like you're a bitch on some type of shit. Like you, you're useless, Biden. Ah, 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 ah. I'm thinking of this from a logical standpoint. A person like Aiden, minding his business, right? He did do some really fucked up shit with the scamming shit, but that's in the past. That's almost a year ago. So Illuminati, his points were that Aiden is making men less of men and more feminine. But the thing I gotta say about that, like, it pisses me the fuck off when people say shit like this is because if you watch something, and that shit could turn you fucking gay that meant you were fucking gay in the first place bro simple as that bro like you were gay as fuck in the first place bro like i could literally hear somebody say some gay shit and i'm not gonna think twice about making that action i'm not gonna think twice because my brain my brain isn't programmed to like men i could look at a man and not feel any type of way but if i look at a girl i'm gonna feel i'm gonna feel some type of way about it if you understand what i'm saying you understand what i'm saying but bro it's like projecting like it's like he has something against aiden because something he did in the past and i'm probably gonna be the first person to say this shit because a lot of niggas are scared of soluminati on oh god I ain't scared of shit nigga but bro this nigga is projecting bro this nigga he confessed about pissing on his cousin he confessed about putting dick on his cousin he confessed about shitting on his cousin he's projecting bro he don't like aiden because soluminati did such shit in his past and he don't like that shit and he's trying to fight that shit simple as that he's trying to fight the demons that's coming to him bro the past in him is breaking out and he sees it in aiden and that's why he don't fuck with aiden bro that's why he don't fuck with gay niggas simple as that even though aiden isn't even gay like you could look at a nigga and tell he gay aiden he's a fufu nigga it's a difference from a fufu and a gay nigga a gay nigga those are the type of niggas those are the niggas that actually like dick a fufu nigga is a nigga that I'll say some gay shit but you know he's not gay bro like i got a whole bunch of homeboys they say some gay shit but bro they be having the baddest looking bitches if you know what i'm saying brother it's just something about them bro and it's like you could tell they not actually gay though it's just something about it if you be around enough men in general even if you play sports you could tell who's gay and who's not simply as that another thing soluminati is taking the situation too fucking serious it's actually sickening bro leave bro a fucking loan three videos in a row is actually getting sad like it's obvious you need money simply as that because like if you didn't need money you'll still be doing spiritual shit like i don't know if you trying to get a new car some fucking upgrades for your Cor corvette but bro you making videos on a man that doesn't even stunt you is crazy bro like leave nigga alone it's so many people out here you could have targeted it could have been it's so many harder people you could have targeted bro you could have targeted these fucking rappers you're talking about aiding persuading people to do shit talk about these rappers bro it's a whole fucking pandemic about lean now and you're not talking about that shit that's some serious shit drugs kill people bro and you don't give a fuck about that shit though it's some real shit going on and you don't give a fuck about that shit though and the thing i fuck with soul illuminati too bro i just don't fuck i don't fuck with that fake spiritual shit bro because you be preaching all this bullshit but don't stand by that shit bro and that's why the fuck i'm so pissed off about this because there's actually people that's genuinely up to this shit bro and you see these fake ass niggas that's at the top of the top and everybody see them people and they think that they're at a bar and think that that's what the regular people do 
But that's not true, bro. It's a whole bunch of spiritual people that's nothing like Soul Illuminati, bro. It's people that actually take this shit serious. And it's people that don't think motherfuckers are, that kids aren't pot pot chicken sandwiches on some type shit. They don't say stupid shit because they don't believe in that shit. Like, the, the spiritual soul I like, that's the motivational shit. That's what I fuck with. But him saying all bullshit, stupid shit, saying he's woke. But no, nigga, that's goofy. Then you got a whole bunch of dick riders standing behind him. And niggas just, oh, oh, you're a bot. You're a bot because cause Solomonati said this. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You're a sheep, nigga. You don't know what you talking about, nigga. You a whole bitch, bro. You a whole following ass nigga, bro. You, you follow niggas. You don't think for yourself. That's what the fuck wrong with you, nigga. You don't think for yourself. All you following ass niggas. Y'all, y'all, y'all just follow people because y'all don't, y'all don't know what's wrong and right, nigga. Cause y'all don't have no fucking good parents. Simple as that. You wasn't taught how to be you. You haven't learned who the fuck you are. So you follow around these niggas telling you what the fuck to do. Simple as that, nigga. You not, you not a wave starter. And even if Aiden did start away this gay pandemic, hey, he started some shit. What you starting? You're not starting shit. So all you doing right now is spreading negativity. Simple as that. Three videos in a row. That shit is actually pathetic, bro. Like you should have gave it up after the second one. After the second one, that was too far. You started a petition saying Aiden striked you, bro. The emails are fake. When you get copyrighted, they take your shit no matter fucking what. They don't send you a fucking um. They don't send you an email. They just take it down. They block it instantly. They don't tell you to take it down. They just going to take this shit down for you. Simple as that. I had so many fucking videos copyrighted from that shit. They just take it down. They don't give a fuck. Who, who talking, bro? They don't give a shit. Solomonati is one of the biggest hypocrites on YouTube. That's another thing that pisses me off. Like, it's a reason he get into so many fucking beefs. Nigga, beef with Los. Beef with Flight. Beef with Nate. Beef with hella other niggas, bro. Like, he's a... He's a nigga that start problems because he have nothing else to do. Niggas bored as shit. Simple as that. He's bored as shit. He has nothing to do. So he's just going to bother other niggas, bro. And you got a whole bunch of niggas fucking switching on Aiden and shit. Like, I ain't going to lie. I fuck with Aiden. The reason I fuck with Aiden is because I seen nigga grow. I seen him go from shit. I seen him evolve to a person, bro. I seen him go from a bitch a nigga that's starting to stand up from himself and that shit actually making me proud bro and i'm not really fucking with everybody dick on his dick bro simple as that everybody want to jump on a nigga because the big bully says says what goes nigga no that's not how the fuck it work bro stand up for yourself have your own opinions on shit don't don't look for everybody opinion and i'm not saying like aiden hasn't done shit in his career like i said he was involved in some scams some crypto scams and if you got a problem with him saying some gay shit, I ain't gonna lie, you a homophobic ass nigga. And that's a problem with you. If you're insecure about your sexuality, simple as that. If you can't handle being near a gay person, that says something about you, bro. You wanna know what that says? That says you don't know what you are. You don't know if you like men. That's why you don't wanna, you scared of it. You scared of what the fuck you don't know. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, it's your boy Jamori, and I'm out. Peace.